time is dwindling down and I think everyone has pretty much lost hope in NetherRealm Studios. The lack of communication at this point is beyond irritating and stressful and not to mention extremely unprofessional on their end. Hey guys, my name is Jackie Legs and we are back with another Mortal Kombat 11 video. In today's video we are going to talk about the most recent leak that has surfaced and what the future looks like for Mortal Kombat 11. Also guys remember that this is a leak. Nothing listed in the leak is confirmed or denied, so everything must be taken with a grain, pinch, shaker, or whatever amount of salt you would like. Just take some salt. With that said, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys could leave a like and a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel. You guys can find all types of videos on multiple different games discussing news, updates, rumors, and leaks. And with that said, let's jump into this leak. According to this leak, this will be indeed the final pack. It will be announced in May and will have a June release. The gameplay trailer is planned for E3. The characters listed are Reptile, Ermac, Smoke, Havoc, and The Bride from Kill Bill. Additional stages include, which will be a free update, The Living Forest, The Pit, Subway, and The Pyramid of Argus. Skin packs will include a pre-order bonus of the UMK3 Ninja skin pack, the Injustice skin pack including skins for Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Raiden, and the MK Movie skin pack which will include skins for Sub-Zero, Kano, and Kung Lao. The leaker then goes on to explain. More was initially planned but COVID set everything for a loop. We've been setting up for all the ninjas to be in the game since the beginning and we didn't want to scrap that, so we decided on one more pack to get them in, which is why this pack is filled with ninjas. And there it is guys, according to this leak, this will be indeed the final pack, it will be announced in May, which leaves us a window of a little less than two weeks in which Combat Pack 3 could be announced. And all these characters are pretty obvious choices for DLC, Smoke, Ermac, Reptile, and Havoc are easily the most desired characters to be on the Mortal Kombat 11 roster, and Uma Thurman's character The Bride from Kill Bill actually fits the action hero theme that Netherrealm Studios has been keeping with its guest characters. And she is also a girl, last time I checked. So she checks that box as well. The leak also states that more DLC was planned for Mortal Kombat 11, but due to the pandemic, everything was set back. I mean look, I get it, it is understandable most development teams had to postpone season passes, DLCs and even had to delay the release of its games. But one thing those development teams have had through this entire pandemic that NRS has not is communication with its fans. And that has been the story thus far with Netherrealm Studios. If this is indeed the final combat pack, fine, give it to us. I think it would be an amazing pack to end the life cycle of Mortal Kombat 11. But staying radio silent for almost half a year to release a patch to buff Shao Kahn and nerf Shiva Stompies? Come on, that is not a good look for Netherrealm Studios and it is not a good look for Mortal Kombat 11. And to be completely honest, I don't even think we are going to be getting a final pack, as upsetting as that would be. Warner Brothers is scheduled to be at E3, but rumors are they are set to tease the new Marvel fighting game that they have been working on. All in all, it is looking bleak for Mortal Kombat fans, and I think E3 is NRS's last chance to address these issues and at least be straight with us. Are we going to be getting any more content, or is this the end of Mortal Kombat 11? And that is going to be it for this one, you guys. I really hope Netherrealm Studios proves us wrong and takes some responsibility for its lack of communication, and we get some more characters added into the roster of Mortal Kombat 11. As much of a letdown as NRS has been with its community, I still think they can bring a lot of their fans back with the right DLC characters and with some actual communication. But that's going to be it you guys, as always I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel, also leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think about this most recent leak and what you guys would like to see from NRS. Thanks again for watching you guys and I will catch you guys in the next video.